Smith & Wesson SD40VE. We're going to do a takedown lever replacement today. Anybody that owns this weapon knows a takedown lever for field stripping is it's not friendly. Anyway, we've got a new one in the mail and uh, we're going to replace it. So clear the weapon, clips out, chamber's clear, no mag. Take it down like you normally would. If you can, set the clip aside. Green spring right here that you can see. What we're going to do is keep tension on that with this special tool. If you don't know what that is, you shouldn't do this. Anyway, doesn't matter which way you uh, push the lever out, left or right, don't matter. Put some tension on the spring, push it out one side or the other. Special tool again, slide it out, Oop! launch the spring. Anyway, that comes up fairly simple. Let me recover that spring. Mm -hmm. uh, in the kitchen. Yeah. Launch the spring. There's a straight edge that goes into the frame. And this curved edge goes up. You can't put it in backwards, I don't think. Anyway, there's a slot. It goes right in front of this red spring right here in the frame. Put the straight edge into there. Doesn't matter if it's really sitting straight. Once you put the new part in, it'll correct it. Set that down. This part from NDZ I got off of eBay. Uh, it was 10 bucks. A direct replacement and uh, now let's try that out I measured it earlier it was like 1.3 millimeters bigger not much bigger but anyway uh, it makes a world of difference so there's a notch on the top here that has to go back towards the shooter other side is smooth. Notch goes back towards the shooter. This other notch on the bottom that goes down towards that the trigger assembly or the green spring. So it doesn't matter which way it goes in again. Left or right. You want to push that spring down so it's got a little bit of tension on it. When you slide the new part in, snaps right in, can't fall out. Nothing special. Put the slide back on it. Check it for function. Very nice. way better. Thanks for watching.